It's your boy, GC3, and I'm in the place to be, bringing number six, number episode number six for this weekend special edition, West Coast Elite, Hoopers Only, Vision Sports Network, and GC3. Anyways, I got a special guest, one of my favorite players out here in Arizona. She's been just making a splash ever since she got on scene. Now she's, uh, since, you know, we're in club season, she's with West Coast Elite, hooping it up still, dropping jaws. Without further ado, my girl, Kai. What up, Kai? What's good with you? What's up? Glad to be here. Not much. I'm just trying to stay relevant every day, just working hard, just trying to, trying to get good content. But I'm excited to have you on the cast. So... First question is, uh, how's your spring going? How are you enjoying this the battle in, in the desert event? It's real nice. It's cool. You know, when they say it's a desert, it really is a desert. You know, I live here. It's about 100 degrees every day. But, hey, we up in here. We getting some work in. So that's good. Awesome. So, like, uh, how are you liking the event? I mean, uh, there's a lot of college coaches. There's some pretty good competition. You know, mm -hmm. how, how's that been going so far these last day and a half? The event was cool. The last um we played last night at seven, but um the event was cool. You know, um the seeing the college coaches there, you know, help you help you with your game a little bit. You know, just the competition is really good too. So we're just excited to be able to play again today. That's awesome. So, like, my next question for you is: What I notice is you're a high energy player. I mean, I can tell even in the interview. I mean, you bring a lot of energy, and I love it. You know, you have a lot of charisma myself so like going into the game like is there like a ritual is there something like special candy bar do you have to have like an energy drink do you have to you listen to some type of music you know to get you into that that focus yeah i have a little i have a a, a little few a little rituals that i have um i love gospel music so i try to you know stay in my mono zone with that you know be in a good head space and then um for the energy type part it's you usually like giving a good light sleep you know um but yesterday i'd actually gotten an iv because you know this hotness gonna drain you out so i got an iv you know try to rejuvenate my body over there my uh boys at restore so they got me right so that's why I, that's how I, you know, come in with that good energy for my team. That's awesome. So, you know, I mean, we're, I mean, you're a 2025, probably one of the top 2025s, you know, here in Arizona and as well as the West Coast. I mean, is there a, an area that you want to go to? Like, is there any particular, like, location where you want to end up when playing at the next level? Um, not really. You know, I have family all over, you know, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, you know, but it doesn't really matter where I go to. It, might, it must be, it's going to be nice me trying to get out this, you know, in AZ staying home, but usually um, I really don't matter where I go, so. Okay, and that, that's good to have, you know, again, because there'll be college coaches tuning into this, trying to get some, trying to read into it, <laughs> like, okay, you know, what can we do to get the get the inside scoop on, on Kai? Because, you know, definitely one of the most desired prospects out here on the West Coast. So have you thought about, like, what you'd want to major in, what you want to be, you know, after basketball? Yeah, um, I did want to major in marine biology, but I noticed that um, most schools, they don't have that, you know, if they're not, you know, obviously like by water or whatever. But, um, but now I'm more looking on the psychology part, so – um, I'm trying to, my next class, um, my senior year, I'm trying to get into psychology so, you know, I won't be, you know, a newbie to it. No, that's that's amazing. Definitely a challenging subject because I did myself during my undergrad. I had to take a psychology class as, my, you know, my first year. And it was definitely a challenge, but it's really interesting because just learning and how like the mind works and and just different practices and, and strategies like it, it definitely helped me kind of understand you know, like behavior and understand why I do things or why people kind of, you know, what motivates them or what makes them tick. So it makes me more of a, you know, have a better awareness and understanding of people. So that's that's amazing that you'd want to go into that. Yeah, right, right. So outside of basketball, what do you like to do for fun? Like, you know, do you have a hobby, any hobbies or what do you like to do? 
Um, I like to draw. I usually draw when I'm in class, don't have any work to do. But um, as much as I can, I just try to get sleep. You know, that's one big thing for me because, you know, I rarely like all I do is train and work out, try to get my game better. So when I have that time to to like chill, I don't go out with friends. I don't do any of that. I just sleep because, you know. That just helps me clear my mind. And, you know, it helps me also just to relax and not think about basketball so much anymore. Well, sleep is good. That's something I wish I as a grown adult have to have to get more of because it's just being so busy. But the last part of the show I was going to ask you. So with basketball kind of like picking up, especially on the women's side, who's your favorite WNBA player right now? Ooh, right now? Right now, uh, it's probably going to have to be – I was literally just watching Caitlin's game, Caitlin Clark's game right now um, before I, I came here, and she was getting buckets. I was like, ooh, the same thing she was doing in college, she's doing it now in the um, in the big league. So I'm right, – right now, she's the one who I've been looking at the most. No, that's awesome. I'm, I'm a huge fan of of uh, Caitlin Clark. I mean, another another prospect I like is Alyssa Peely because you know I myself I'm Polynesian, mm -hmm. so I really like watching her. She's just so tough, but super exciting. I mean, this this draft class for the WNBA was was one of the deepest ones, and and you know, Kai, I hope to be able to, to watch you on TV one day getting drafted. That'd be so exciting. <laughs> I know it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. I'm gonna be up there though. Watch. Keep grinding. Well, anyways, thank you for joining me on the cast and, um, you know, good luck today. And I'm going to make sure to watch your game here in an hour. All right. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Appreciate it. Guys, I got to interview top prospect Kaishi Lunin, you know, one of the top kids on the West Coast. And um, she's going to play here in about an hour. So got to check it out. But again, thank you guys all for joining me. And uh, we'll be back here shortly. Peace. Mm -hmm.